friends you would agree with me that that trbt is the way to go as far as bladder tumor management is concerned because nit this not only gives us the diagnosis of the disease but in most situations it is also therapeutic we can remove the complete tumor we get the tissue for histopathology examination and we can assess the type of tumor the depth and the invasion if any then what are the problems we are facing with trp one of the basic problem with trp is it does not follow oncological principles the basic principle of oncology would be that if i have to remove any tumor i should be removing that tumor intact preferably tissue this is one of the only tumor where i break this tumor into multiple pieces before removing it because i break it into multiple pieces there is a risk of uh, bleeding which can happen there is a risk of cell implantation as it is the risk of recurrence is high in bladder tumors and uh, if i use electric current there can be obturator spasms in nearly 20 to 50% patients despite the best resections you may not get detrusor muscle in the histopathology report this was a very interesting poster presented by a pathologist in eau 2017 where they looked at what factors would make them get a good confidence to give proper reporting and they found that when the tumor was resected and blocked their confidence level was higher because most of these tumors had detrusor in them there was no cautery artifact and it was easy to analyze these pathology specimen we can see why it would be easy you see in trbt this is how the tumor would go to the pathologist where it would go in multiple small pieces and for him to make a head and tail out of this specimen would be very difficult but in n block resection the full tumor goes in toto and hence for him to analyze this becomes quite easy so how do i do my procedure i use my standard holep equipment i have a 100 watt holmem laser unit punch biopsy forceps can be there for random biopsies most of the tumors up till 3 3 1/2 cm can come out through routine bladder evacuators because these tumors are soft and malleable in a way they come out through the resectoscope sheath even up till 3 3 1/2 cm larger tumors may need to be broken into pieces by laser only in one patient i have used morselator now this is a consideration i have made as to what are the factors that i use in deciding how i treat so size whether small or large stock whether thin stout or sessile fronds whether thin coalescent solid uh, whether it is a single or multiple tumor or whether the site is good for me or difficult for me a site which is good for me is a site where i can see the tumor head uh, the stock head on means if i see the tumor head on and the stock is behind the tumor it would become very difficult for me to do an block resection so a small tumor with a thin stock thin fronds single tumor favorable place would be very easy and this would be a tumor where i would suggest anybody who wants to learn n block resection should start once you gain experience you can take large tumors with sessile or uh, thick stock solid tumors multiple tumors and even in difficult sites so what are my steps of the procedure after doing a thorough cystoscopy identify the tumor and mark the incision well once you mark the incision well you also decide your depth of excision your depth of resection should go through superficial detrusor muscles once you have entered below the tumor then you remain below the tumor with the help of your resectoscope beak and go from one marking to other so in a tumor which is there at a favorable site you would start somewhere at 6 o'clock and gradually try to go towards 12 o'clock with the beak trying to uh, elevate the tumor at odd sites you would innovate in handling the laser and do those sites so this is a elderly gentleman with a 2 and 1/2 to 3 cm tumor above and lateral to the left orifice now this is a favorable site because i can get under the tumor and look at the stock very well so i dip, uh, say uh, take my resectoscope big down go under the tumor identify the stock the stock is not very thick so i mark a incision around couple of millimeters away from the stock this being a very thin stock in no time i cut through this stock and i can see the bladder beyond the stock any bleeders that come in in the intervening period can be coagulated by a defocused beam i use the laser 
at around 30 to 40 hertz and at around 1.2 to 1.5 joules energy. Now, this is another patient with a absolutely opposite end, which is a difficult site. So now this is a tumor which is looking towards me and stock is away from me. So obviously I can't get and start from six o'clock and go towards 12 o'clock. In this patient, I would need to start at three o'clock or nine o'clock and then try to push the tumor in the opposite side. That is, if I start at three, I try to push to the tumor towards nine or if I start at nine, I try to push the tumor towards three. Here I'm initially marking the, uh, uh, my incision. So uh, a, a margin of two to three millimeters is taken. You would see that the moment I take this incision, it is very easy to identify the detrusor muscle. And now once I know at what depth I am, all I need to do is keep on resecting so that I shorten the base of this tumor. So gradually I am pushing the tumor from three o'clock towards nine o'clock and gradually trying to shorten the stock of tumor. So after starting from nine o'clock, now I move towards 12 o'clock and reduce the stock from above. So now the tumor has been separated from above. It is separated from one side. So it is, has fallen on the opposite side by the weight of the tumor. And all I need to do now is disconnect these attachments. So in the end, I uh, disconnect these attachments which are there uh, of the tumor to my marked incision. The tumor has got now uh, floats away. And at the end, you would see that all throughout the resected floor, you can see the tusor muscle very, very well, which shows that overall the resection has gone through a proper plane. This is one more site where the tumor is there on the lateral wall. Now, again, in the lateral wall, I would start from 12 o'clock and try to drop this tumor towards the bladder lumen. So once I disconnect this tumor from above, this tumor would start falling medially and hence I would be able to identify this stock better. Once the stock reduces in size, then going from any direction from front to back is easy and the tumor comes off very, very well. Uh, this is another patient with a very, very large broad-based tumor. So even this tumor as huge as this, it is possible to remove it. You need to be patient you need to be slow, grow from different sides, try to undermine the tumor from different side and reduce the stock as much as you can. And there would come a situation where a very narrow stock remains, which can in the end be resected and removed. This was one very, very interesting child. This was a 13 year old child who had an incidental diagnosis of a 1.5 centimeter tumor in the bladder. I used an 18 French uh, cystoscopy sheet and put in the laser fiber through a ureteric catheter. This was one of my initial case of en bloc excision. Complete tumor came off very well. And then I realized that I can go uh, say layer by layer in the stock and practically identify the muscles very well. So this gave me a confidence that probably en bloc excision is possible and it is possible to identify muscles during en bloc excision. This is one of the largest tumor we removed. The half of the bladder was filled with tumor. When we looked at the coronal images on the CT scan, we thought that there was urine seen between the tumor and the bladder wall, and it would be possible to get under the tumor. Interestingly, we could remove this tumor well. Uh, I had to use morselation to get this tumor out. The resected weight was nearly 170 grams. So in the end, we have done up to now approximately 19 cases of various size. Most of the patients has a single tumor and block excision was possible in practically all the patients. The procedure happened reasonably fast. The average time was around 20 minutes. In my initial 16 cases, I kept a three-way catheter. Then I realized that the bleeding is not significant. And then we became choosy in choosing the catheter. The four-hour <coughs> clear urine rate is, uh, was there in 68 patients and most of the patients could be discharged in 30, 48 to 36 hours. Detrusor muscle was found in nearly 90% patients. None of the patients needed to be converted to TRBT. There was no need for transfusion, no obturator spasms, and no major complications. 
when I review the literature, when there is this very interesting study where TRBT and N block resection is compared, and they so far that the safety and effic efficacy is comparable. Recurrence rate is same at 18 months in both the groups. But detrusor muscle was found in 100% of N block and only 70% of TRBT specimen. This was a multicentric review article where they said that detrusor muscle is found in more than 95% patients. And and they advocate that we should try and do end block resection. Whatever mode of energy we use probably is not important because overall results of end block resection are much better than TRP. In our April issue of IJU, our initial experience of end block resection got published, and we were quite happy with the uh, results of the first 67 patients that we published there. To conclude, it's a promising alternative. Even in the EAU guidelines, before TRBT, they have said perform end block resection or resection in fractions wherever possible. So try and do end block resection in as many patients as possible. Thank you for a patient hearing. Thank you, Pankaj. And thanks for having that slide where you give a kind of a, for a, for a beginner to start end block, the easier patients where you can pick up. One thing which I'd like to ask you is in a, in a tumor which is not very favorably inclined, the marking is done probably half the circumference and then as you get into the plane and as the tumor is lifted you can continue the marking on the on the side distal to you because absolutely you, right absolutely yeah. right because at so not many times you can't possible. you can't make the incision all the way around at the beginning absolutely right so you mark whatever possible and then gradually keep on increasing the mass mark as you go ahead thank you pankaj